All right, there it is. Phil said it's all finished. We're gonna go test it. Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. Today's mission is to fabricate our own roughly a 13 inch heavy duty hitch lift so that this new military trailer that we just bought can be used with our Polaris Ranger 1000. So instead of spending the money, they're very expensive to get a 13 inch lift because they need to be very heavy duty. We are gonna fabricate one today on our own. So that's today's mission. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy it and share the video and subscribe to follow all of our country living adventures. So let's get into it. All right, so now what I'm working on while Phil is finishing up with the planter is we are gonna, we need a two inch receiver, which I don't have one to use anymore. So we're gonna create our own. We're gonna, we're gonna double up this angle iron and we're gonna weld a two inch receiver. And then we gotta fabricate a huge lift for this pencil hitch for the uh, Polaris next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get what you pay for. <laughs> Nice. The old scrap pile came in handy again. Super heavy tubing we found. Alright, Phil is talking perfection here. This is our two inch receiver and that's a hitch inside of it. Getting it just perfect. No play in that thing. Right, Phil? Yes, sir. To straighten that out, but this is the, the final fab. Wow. We're getting there. A little more magic from Phil on the MIG. And then we're going to be, be able to roll the one okay. out to there maybe is that what they're supposed to look like what's that the welds, welds? i think so uh, well hey as long as mine hold we, we got to test mine yet but man them are beautiful welds All right, there it is. Phil said it's all finished. We're gonna go test it. Hopefully knows how to ring the tape measure. Wow, the guy who measured it did the best? Yeah. Well, that was 95% of the work, just hit read the tape measure. <laughs> all right, so you'll notice in the video here of testing it that we had a little bit of sag with this unit. So uh, we're curing that. We didn't have enough tongue quite in the Polaris frame, so we're just moving that pin up and sliding it in, and this really gets rid of just about all of that sag. So if you see it looks a little saggy, that's the reason why there. And I need a bigger drill bit to finish this thing out. But fantastic work, Phil. You the man. 
So the way we determined where to put that hitch pin was we took another two inch sleeve and uh, with so much weight on this new one we should have looked a little bit earlier but we didn't but we're gonna fix it but otherwise there was really nothing that else that went sideways so let's give this thing a test run. Alright 1400 pounds dry weight. Okay, so here I'm checking a U-turn on it for a sharp turning, and there's plenty of clearance for this thing to do as sharp a turn as the Polaris will. So that'll be good in some of the tight spots back in the woods. These were my welds. These aren't fills from today. This was Capper's welds. Gosh, them look beautiful. I taught him, I taught him how. I taught him everything that he uh, done. I know. wish you did teach me. If I could make them look half that good, I'd be in good shape. 